I think this was a golden buying opportunity. I mean, that's always been our view in terms of these macro fear white knuckle events. The AI party is still 9 p.m. in a party that goes to 4 a.m. And we're going to have scares. I'm not going to say it's going to be 100 percent smooth, but everything we're seeing fundamentally and what we're seeing from our checks continue to show growth is going to be there. And I think we're going to see this tech bull market. It has sea legs. But look, the bears, they've been, you know, bears have been you know, obviously hesitant on this. And they'll continue to come out in, in terms of fears like we saw this week. The tech industry is no stranger to seismic shifts. But the recent news of Cisco's significant job cuts has sent shockwaves through the market, raising questions about the future of legacy tech companies in a rapidly evolving landscape. In a world increasingly dominated by artificial intelligence and advanced computing, Cisco's struggles are emblematic of a broader challenge facing established tech giants. Dan Ives, a prominent tech analyst, offers a sobering yet insightful perspective on these developments, highlighting both the immediate implications for the economy and equity markets, and the potential opportunities for savvy investors. Cisco's decision to cut jobs is not an isolated incident, but rather a reflection of deeper issues within the company and the tech sector at large. According to Dan Ives, Cisco has long been on the wrong side of tech trends, and these layoffs are a clear indication that the company is struggling to keep up with the pace of innovation. This situation, I've suggests, is not just about trimming the fat, it's about a company that is desperately trying to adapt to a market where it is increasingly being left behind. Cisco's had struggles for decades. I, I mean, it, it's mm -hmm. really been on the wrong side of trends. They're trying against the right side of the trend. Book AI is, it's disrupting sales cycle. It's taking spending from other areas. And that's why the strength we see in Microsoft, in Alphabet, and Amazon, of course, godfather of AI, Jensen, Avini, and others, you also see weakness in others. And that's why in tech, it's really you're either on one side or the other. And, and right now, unfortunately, Cisco's on the outside looking in. The implications of these job cuts extend far beyond Cisco's own balance sheet. When a company as established as Cisco begins to falter, it sends ripples throughout the economy. Investors and market analysts alike are forced to reassess their strategies, particularly in a tech landscape that is becoming more and more divided between the haves and the have-nots. Ives points out that while companies like Microsoft, Alphabet, and Amazon are speeding ahead in the AI race, Cisco is lagging behind, stuck in a lane that is moving far too slowly to keep up. The broader economic implications of Cisco's struggles cannot be overstated. Job cuts at a major tech company like Cisco often signal a tightening of the belt across the industry as companies reevaluate their spending in the face of new technological realities. This can lead to a domino effect where other companies follow suit, leading to a contraction in tech hiring and a potential slowdown in tech-driven economic growth. Moreover, Cisco's predicament sheds light on the ongoing shift in market dynamics. As Ives highlights, the tech industry is increasingly becoming a tale of two sectors. Those who have embraced AI and are reaping the rewards and those who are struggling to catch up. This divide is becoming more pronounced and the equity markets are responding accordingly. Investors are beginning to flee from legacy tech companies like Cisco in favor of those leading the charge in AI, which has led to a significant realignment of capital within the tech sector. Despite the challenges facing Cisco and other legacy tech companies, then Ives sees opportunities for investors willing to take a calculated risk. In his view, the recent sell-off in tech stocks, particularly among companies that have struggled to keep pace with AI advancements, represents a golden buying opportunity. Ives argues that while the market is currently grappling with macroeconomic fears and uncertainty, the long-term fundamentals of the tech sector, particularly in AI, remain strong. For investors, this presents a chance to engage in strategic bargain hunting. Companies like Cisco, while currently under pressure, still have valuable assets and market positions that could make them attractive targets for acquisition or restructuring. Ives points out that Cisco's recent acquisition of Splunk is a move aimed at bolstering its capabilities in AI and cybersecurity, areas where the company has been historically weak. While these moves may not immediately transform Cisco's fortunes, they do provide a foundation for potential recovery, especially if the company can successfully integrate these new technologies into its core business. Dan I's commentary is not just a post-mortem on Cisco's troubles, it's a guide for investors looking to navigate the current market environment. He emphasizes that in the current tech landscape, it's crucial to distinguish between companies that are truly innovating and those that are merely trying to stay afloat.
This distinction is key to identifying where the real opportunities lie. According to Ives, investors should focus on companies that are not only embracing AI but are also showing concrete results in terms of growth and market share. The AI revolution is still in its early stages, and Ives believes that the best is yet to come. He likens the current state of AI development to a party that is just getting started, with plenty of time left for those who get in now to reap significant rewards. However, Ives also warns that this is not a time for indiscriminate buying. The market is still volatile, and there will be bumps along the way. Investors need to be selective and look for companies that have a clear strategy for growth in the AI space. Strong management teams and the financial resources to weather any short-term downturns. For those who can identify these companies, the current dip in tech stocks represents a unique opportunity to buy in at attractive prices. Beyond the immediate concerns of job cuts and market volatility, Dan Ives offers a broader perspective on the ongoing transformation within the tech industry. He notes that AI is not just a buzzword, but a fundamental shift that is reshaping the entire sector. This shift is creating a new hierarchy within tech, where companies that are at the forefront of AI development are pulling away from those that are struggling to adapt. Ives points to companies like NVIDIA, which is set to release highly anticipated earnings at the end of the month, as exemplars of this new tech order. NVIDIA's dominance in AI hardware and its ability to capitalize on the growing demand for AI solutions have made it a darling of the market, and Ives expects its earnings report to further solidify its position. He also highlights the role of other major players like Microsoft and Alphabet, whose investments in AI are driving significant growth and setting the stage for continued success. At the same time, Ives acknowledges that the market is facing external pressures, including the potential for further Federal Reserve rate cuts and a slowing economy. These factors could introduce new risks, particularly for companies that are heavily leveraged or overly reliant on growth in a single area. However, Ives is optimistic that the strength of AI-driven tech companies will help to offset these risks and provide a cushion for the broader market. As the tech industry continues to evolve, Ives looks ahead to what the future might hold. He anticipates that the next few years will be crucial for determining which companies will emerge as the leaders of the AI revolution and which will be left behind. By 2025, Ives expects to see even greater divergence between the winners and losers in tech, with those that have successfully integrated AI into their business models pulling further ahead. For investors, this means that now is the time to start positioning themselves for the long term. Ives suggests that the companies that are making the right moves today particularly AI, will be the ones that dominate the market in the years to come. He advises investors to look for companies that are not only investing in AI, but are also showing signs of being able to scale these investments effectively. These are the companies that will be best positioned to capitalize on the growth opportunities that AI presents and deliver strong returns over the next decade.